promised you four months ago, I'd show you the crawl technique. I'm a man of my word. Just like the Joker. So here it is. You can see the whole thing play out. This is the point of view of Striker. This is Foulmaster, myself, and Striker. We're trying to take this building. Foulmaster gets knocked. Shirker's gonna move in on this guy. All right, so I don't have my point of view. The reason I've waited so long on this video is I was looking for my video to show you my point of view so you could understand what, what happened, but I cannot find it. So I'm just gonna have to explain to you what happened. Fast forward a little bit. Someone chunks a grenade in this room, building. Knocks me and foul. Since foul had already been knocked, he probably should have knocked. He probably should have tried to res foul sooner, but I just happened to be the one closer, closest one to him. Foul bleeds out a little too fast. All right, so it's us versus four, but we didn't know if it was just, you know, if it was four. Once I get healed up, all right, let me explain to you what happened. So I watch Striker do this. He lays down and crawls out the front door. I couldn't believe it. I was shocked. I was standing right behind him. I thought, are you kidding me? Are you crawling away? You're crawling out the front door. I'm like, be a man. Stand up. Let's go get these guys. So I walk out the front door. And I go to the left, and I see the other guys, and I start to engage them. And did you see that? I am running away. <laughs> I saw them. I freaked out. I'm screaming like a little girl. I'm trying to get away from them. I try to go inside of a window that is boarded up. I can't get in, and they all come in and attack me. Gun me down. And Stryker killed all four of them and won the match because he crawled away. I couldn't believe it. How wrong was I? Oh my gosh. The crawling thing totally worked. I screamed like a girl. He won the match. What? How did... I just... I still blows my mind. Thought Master Flex and I... We were trying to engage people as they left the blue when we found this guy. And I happened to hear this guy to my left. Whew, that was a close one. Ooh. So when he knocked foul, I was really happy I didn't finish this guy off. Because I would hate for him to knock or to finish off foul. Still just for a second. Even though foul is a little low on health, I did manage to get him. So we did we decided to run to ruins to look for some level two vests. We, neither one of us had level two vests. And we found some guys in this building. Foul gets a knock. So I decided to stroll on in. So I do my best Tom Arnold impression again. I'm 
did find a level two vest on the way out, thank goodness. And we got out of there. I know it maybe seems like I move my camera crazy and sporadically, but it does help me spot people a little faster. And look, caught my next victim. He can't hear me sneaking up on him from the rain. Oh, yeah. So we definitely didn't want to run straight to the buildings. I wanted to try and follow the circle around. I didn't see anyone coming out of the blues. I thought we were pretty safe. But I didn't know if anyone was coming out of these windows. I just happened to hear someone crawling. Some naked dude. And then I heard his buddy. Naked dude number two. What the heck? They were trying striker's crawling technique. Later on, Fallon and I thought we we wish we'd kept him alive so we could have pan fought him or something. That would have been funny. So I did hear these guys hiding in here, so we just started chunking grenades. And Fal did say he saw the other guy at the end of the building. I did see my guy in there, and I noticed that he was not getting rezzed. So I decided to go help Foul out. We're gonna push him, and Foul gets that final kill. All right, so let's watch this again. We're gonna watch it from Foul's point of view. Man, Foul's sniper skills have been impressive lately. Oh my gosh. We've got some videos coming up with some of his sniping skills. Oh my, I just can't believe how good he's gotten with a regular Xbox and a regular controller and some of the things he's been able to do with that Car 98 and that M24. It just blows my mind. Oh, when Foul knocks a guy, he didn't even have to worry about trying to finish him off too much. the fear of God and their partner so they'll let them bleed out. See? Told you. Alright, so you remember this part. I knocked that guy from behind in the rain. I'm just gonna cover him while he loots. Fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Let's gotta see what he does next. Alright, check this out. I didn't even know he did this. How did he even see this person? There's nothing even there. When I first saw this video, I was like, uh, what's he doing? And then he gets a kill. <laughs> like, how did he know that person was there? I have no idea. I need to, like, call him up and, like, what were you looking at? How did you know there was someone there at all? He's got hacks. That's what it is. Hacks. Scuba was saying that Xbox, or people can hack the Xbox. You can plug a USB drive into your Xbox and hack the game. I don't know if that's true or not. I figured if anybody would know, it would be Scuba. However, Scuba plays so bad, you know he's not hacking. I mean, I'm just saying. Just saying. I 
I just realized this. I went back. As I've been editing this, Fal has not reloaded that gun. He's got 20 rounds in that. But like the last... Since his second kill, he hasn't reloaded this gun. Watch out, Watch his ammo. Runs it all the way down to one bullet. And he uses that one bullet to get the final kill. What? If that was me, I'd have been knocked. And I would have been dead. And I'd have lost the match. But he pulls it off and wins the match for us. Oh. Good game, pal. Good game. Thank you.